Hey, so we're going to talk about the reason electric base refill, and uh, we're going to create a real baseline so you can see how a real world baseline will work with inside reason. What I'm holding here is to some people a monstrosity, but it's actually for bass players, this is a gorgeous beauty of a bass. This, this is the 1963K hollow body that's featured in the reason electric base refill. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can create a bass line that sounds incredibly realistic within reason using the sounds that are hyper sampled from this bass. So here we go. So let's, uh, all right, let's play a simple bass line here on the 63K. And uh, it goes a little something like this. Sounds nice. I'm going to steal this bass. Uh, now let's play it on the keyboard and let's just play it first with none of the articulations, which will be what I show you next. Sounds pretty cool. Sounds very cool. But one of the really cool things about Reason Electric Bass is the modifier keys. And what I mean by that is all the fret noise and glisses and little picks and articulations and gritty noises that actually go into making a real bass line. So let me just run through some of them for you. Now here come my favorite ones. Can't really hear them. These are all the little dirty pieces. And then my favoriteest of all, the real modifier keys. And what is that? That's this. Because a lot of times when you're playing a bass line, you slide into a note a little bit, you know. Holding down C and hitting notes is the effect of a hammer-on, which would mean you hit the strings with your left hand. So check it out. Also very effective in creating a realistic bass line. Now, let's record a bass line using the K, 63K electric bass. Um, first, I'm going to just record the notes, and then I'm going to put in on another lane the articulations. So check this out. So now let's record the articulations for this bass part because even though it sounds really good and the bass basically sounds like a real bass, what you want to do is add the articulations to make it sound more realistic and uh, make it sound like a human played it. Play it now with a drum beat. Pretty realistic. All right, now that sounds that sounds pretty good. Actually, I'm really kind of happy with that. But let's even get a little more detailed. Let's go into the edit window, and we'll listen to a three-bar uh, portion of this piece. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. But this is what I want to do. With the modifier key inside of the edit window here, if you just go in and place just a little bit before let me make sure this is, they're pretty small here. But just a little bit before the notes are played, let's get some glissando in here. Whoa. Now that sounds really good, but there's a problem on the downbeat of bar six. 
where uh, I have a note and a glissando at the same time, which is physically impossible. So, check it out, listen to it. Sounds kind of awkward, but you know what? All I need to do is go like that and check it out. So there you go. Realistic bass sounds inside of Reason with the Reason Electric Bass Refill. What we've done in this tutorial is recorded a bass line and added articulations and then furthermore done more editing by adding modifier keys to create a really realistic sounding bass.